Hello guys, Zuljin here. Welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft Vamplified server. Hope you guys are having a, a terrific day today. Check it out. Monkey Form brought us some cookies and milk for Santa. That's awesome. I'm going to leave that on the wall actually just in case Santa decides to come by and leave me a ton of diorite. So I went looking at XB's base by the way. XB uh, had dropped me a line on Twitter uh, the other day and said that he had some dirty wool available and uh, that's what he calls Die, right and uh i couldn't find it man i really couldn't um i don't know why i went look at it now i didn't want to spoil anything from his base but if you guys haven't checked out xp lately check it out um so there's a couple things that i i didn't really get anything much changed you guys but i did want to work on some stuff today see that see all this this needs to be really covered with diorite i'm not really sure how I'm gonna do it yet but I don't have a whole bunch of diorite and instead of mining that on camera for you guys today I'm actually going to play around with a blacksmith idea but I want to go take a look at this uh, this balcony out here and show you guys some changes I made um, I decided to make a ring around it with the nether brick and it needed to be bigger which was the general consensus of uh, all of you <laughs> so I decided to make it bigger and I think what I'm going to do is let's see i think i'm going to go down here and do some someone had said stairs and originally i thought that was a great idea i just don't know how steep they would be so i think i want to measure that out and try to see how it would come down from the sides um, so I do have a little bit of nether brick. I'm sure it'll be nether brick uh, or it could I brought some birch too because I could do the trim with nether brick I think and maybe the birch and I think that would be a good idea to get down here and on the sides I think I'm going to do like my blacksmith on this side you guys the outdoor blacksmith I was talking about because there's plenty of room and on the other side I'm not real sure what I'm gonna do and I might have like some little um, some little deals out here too I'm not too sure but I have some cool ideas for the smith I just need to get it worked out so let's go ahead and pillar up here temporarily and while I'm building this thing instead of talking to you guys through every single thing that I'm doing I have a story to tell you so yesterday I didn't get a whole lot done I wanted to mine some diorite so I can have plenty to do uh, for the video today and show you guys some progress on diorite and instead I decided to hide everything from you because <laughs> unfortunately something bad happened yesterday I got a virus um, yeah I know it wasn't it wasn't good yo you guys like here I was minding my own business looking for well I guess I was minding other people's business if I was surfing the internet but I was looking around for an elite dangerous profile a voice profile so I've been doing a lot of elite dangerous lately and I'm really really enjoying it if you guys haven't checked it out I, I streamed it the other day and it was really really cool and I definitely am I'm wanting to do some more of that stuff because it's a very very fun game and I've been streaming it on YouTube but I'll talk more about that in a minute so the game uses voice profiles that you can that you can uh, download from people uh, you can also make your own because I'm using uh, a program called voice attack but like for instance on twitch uh, those guys uh, that stream they do some they do they have their voice attack profiles uh, available for download but they're heavily customized like with names and all kind of other stuff and I decided that I wanted I didn't want to do that I was gonna make I was gonna get one that was just a good template I guess I should say so I started messing with it and um, lo and behold I found a site that was a little on the shady side and I clicked the link that I knew I shouldn't have clicked and then things started installing like it happened so fast I really couldn't stop it I saw something install and then I started getting pop-ups and then I started looking for software that could remedy the problem like that's what you do when you get a virus you know virus virus first of all I don't really believe that's not too steep but I should probably come out on a platform I don't know that comes really really close now I'm, I'm, I know I'm changing gears with the the subject you guys but if I had one more back it probably wouldn't look so bad that's just a little high hmm maybe one more back well one more back would mean that the balcony itself is a little bit smaller I really don't want to do because I want to do two of these 
I don't know, man. I don't know. I can't go any lower. Lower would solve the problem too, but that doesn't seem like it would work out too well. Yeah, if I did lower, that would just be kind of weird. So what happens if my stair would be on this? Would that be so bad? Would it? It would be a little bit better. Actually, I think that's what I'm going to do, you guys. I know I'm kind of repeating the work, but it's it's going to be it's going to be overall better i think it's just not going to come out as close to the tower so yeah i mean the uh the pop-up started coming and that's what you do when you have a virus you know you you look at the symptom and you you google to see what the remedy is because virus scan software doesn't really work and this is a proven fact because i actually installed virus software on my computer um after this happened and it couldn't help and uh, along with a bunch of malware program malware removal programs and stuff like that and nothing i ended up formatting my computer and I, if i would have started off and did that it would have been faster because everything was backed up i recently did a reformat on my computer and it wasn't too terrible i did forget some stuff but this time i did a good backup and everything went fine but the reason that i finally decided to do my format was that i was actually getting uh, I got a Gmail alert. So Google is really good about alerting you to things that don't seem right with your account. Uh, like when people log in or something logs in from a very remote location. Um, like I'm from Louisiana, right? Way down south. And yesterday Google alerted me that something was logging into my, trying to log into my account at, in Oregon. So as soon as that happened, I was like, now this is linked with my YouTube account and everything. So naturally I was kind of freaked out and I was like, shut it down, pull it all down. <laughs> I deleted Chrome, I uninstalled, well, I uninstalled Chrome and I started to just, I started to back up my data to format. As soon as my data was backed up and ready, I formatted it and that was pretty much the evening ordeal. I had to reinstall all my software, which wasn't too terrible. I mean, don't get me wrong, it sucked, but at least I'm not missing anything. As y'all can tell, everything's working fine again. Uh, let's go, let's get some more birch. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So yeah, really, really sucked. And I just wanted to do some work. <laughs> like, I thought it would be fun, you know, to play Lee Dangerous and have some voice stuff. So anyway, um, I ended up yesterday before I formatted, I did end up getting some uh, a legit profile, uh, but uh, I actually had to delete it. So I didn't go look for any more profiles. I'm deciding to build my own uh, or modify an existing one. So it should be fine. Okay, so now that I have this, I'm getting kind of lost because when I talk and, and move around at the same time, I get kind of confused. So anyway, I'm formatted. I'm good. Um, it should be fine from here on out. I think on this one, and it's raining again. Dang, this rain. I hate it. Um, let's go sleep. It's not too far. Uh, every time it rains on this area, we get a thunderstorm. It stinks. I have the weather sounds off, so you guys never hear it. Uh, but it's very, very, very uh, upsetting. And earlier I was talking, I said I wish there was a mob that dropped die right because I'd formed the heck out of it. Uh, but yeah, I went look at XB's base and uh, he was supposed to drop me some dirty wool and he didn't. Well, I couldn't find it. So anyway, <laughs> earlier Mumbo slept when it was thundering and I gave him a heart. So now I slept when it was raining. He gave me a heart. Uh, so yeah, anyway, it's it's been a heck of an ordeal the last uh, the last 24 hours, you guys, but uh, hoping so. Another thing, while I'm still talking and still building and stuff like that, when I was doing the Elite Danger stream, a lot of people, I got tweets from a lot of people uh, about two things in general. One, why the heck am I streaming on YouTube? And that's easy, guys, because I can monetize it. Um, and plus, hardly anybody ever does it. And the Twitch thing, I'd have to show up every day to get a, a relatively decent sized Twitch audience. I'd want to upload the footage to YouTube anyway, which is an extra step. And I would definitely have to, I would, I would end up probably playing music or wanting to play music and all this stuff youtube just does it because it's a good immersion factor and it's a little bit easier for me i know the chat is not the best um like the the comment system whatever but all in all it's not as bad as it could be so if we wouldn't have twitch to compare it against it would be fine 
So I'm going to continue to use YouTube for that. I'll be doing Twitch streaming every once in a while. It's just going to be a di in a different format. Like uh, I'll be on Twitch soon for um, some charity event stuff. And uh, yeah, tomorrow actually. So that should be pretty cool. Let's see. If I take the nether brick stairs and... I wonder if it would look good if I would just put them underneath right here. Just like this. Yeah, I think that would look better. And I can do this on both sides, actually. I think I'm out of... Uh, I could do one more. Yeah, that's a, that's actually pretty darn nice. Um, it makes me want to put the birch stairs underneath here, too. Which I might I might end up doing. Or I'll make some columns. I don't know. But that's, that's a pretty good look right there. So let's take the nether brick fence and touch it up. Like so. Um, oh, and another thing was that the stream couldn't be viewed in Germany. So, and from my from my understanding, that's a German law thing. I don't want that one there. That's a German law thing. The way that they have their laws worked out. I forget the name of the term, but uh, if you Google "why can't German why can't I view YouTube stream in Germany," you'll get uh, you'll get the whole explanation. I think it's stupid, but because you they have like the live hangouts that you can do in Germany, but uh, you can't do that. So yeah, I am definitely happy with this, guys. I'm gonna wrap this on the other side. Uh, actually, I'm gonna get some more birch stairs and some nether brick stairs, and I'm gonna wrap this on the other side and we'll take a look at how it looks afterwards all right you guys i think it came out pretty swell the stairs look like it's pretty cool now the only thing is when you look at it the wall looks like they should have another one of these and i really don't want to make the stairway any skinnier <laughs> or change the wall up but uh, what i did notice is that if i play around with a little bit of lighting it kind of throws it off and it gives it some balance so from the step out one so that's one two three and then place one two three and then place and then down two and then down two and then down two and we can do like those little candelabras which would look really really cool so i'm going to put some nether brick fence here and it's going to help out with the lighting scheme a little bit back uh, out back and then i need to really concentrate on lighting up the exterior too because uh, there are going to be a lot of mobs if I don't. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. I got my torches. I can probably put torches on them from standing up. Maybe not. Oh, come on. This is going to be complicated if that's the case. Well, no. I can get them from the opposing stair. <laughs> that's good. Uh, let's see. It's tricky to place on those things. There we go. So after some trial and error, we should be able to get it. And that's a nice balance for the lighting, I believe. We just need to do those last two, and we should be good. Uh, let's see. Right there, and right there. Perfect. Now I can just place down maybe one of these, and we'll get some light there. <laughs> and light here. And then on the outside, too, I'll do it. There we go. This pick is going to break any minute now. I can feel it. I don't have enough levels to combine them, and those are my work picks. So, kind of, uh, kind of stinks. Now, how did I put... I'm trying to figure out... I think I'm going to put torches on these as well. On every two. That should work out. And that's very, very close to... The opposing torch so we'll start on the second one and go every two is that how it works yeah start on the second one and go every two from there and now they should be nice and lit now typically I don't use torches but on a castle it seems proper and even though that seems like a lot of torches uh, it's okay I suppose okay and now I'd like to do some sort of large pillar right here I thought about doing like a little fountain or whatever but I'm gonna have fountains in other spots in the castle and this just seemed like a weird spot to do a fountain so let's go ahead and do an, uh, a birch and nether brick column so we'll take a let's see this sucker right here is one two three four five we can do a three by three that comes down. And that would be huge, right? But it might not be too big. 
it might show I think it's gonna show well uh, and we can actually drill out the middle because we won't need that okay let's do it all the way down actually we won't need that middle either yep that'll save us on a little bit of birch cool so this can be like a 3 by 3 column and at the bottom here we'll have to put a torch so that nothing spawns in it just to save a little bit of birch I don't know why I keep wanting to put stuff back there uh, builders block maybe yesterday was just a little bit too stressful on me okay we got the 3 by 3 pillar coming up and now actually we can take away this birch as well because we're gonna come around with nether brick stairs to make a base because I want it real ornate looking, you know, and that will secure the fact that it's ornate looking. And if I wanted it even more ornate, I can do like, oh, you know what? That's an idea, actually. Let's see. I can do maybe this, this, this and this, and then this and this. And then come out right here and what I can do is run a nether brick is that gonna be too much it might come out too much like that maybe not I, I, I actually that might be just what the doctor ordered okay let's see I can try let's put some more birch right here I don't even know what to call this little thing that I'm doing, this little section. <laughs> but I know I wanted to do something cool back here. You guys gave me some some feedback on getting something back here, and I thought it would be cool. All right, so let's see. We need to come out right here just to give a little bit better view. And I think what I'll do is use these birch slabs to just solidify this. There we go. and then I'll come back with the birch blocks okay so now this can go to surround this yeah we'll still have room to surround it so I think it's still it'll still look pretty good uh, we come out one right here no that's the wrong block we come out let's see one right here and then one right here to hold it up right and then we're actually going to be yeah that has to come out okay now I got it it's a little hard to figure out when you really get down to it uh, from the upside down angle so this is actually how did I do that down there um, this is three okay I got it now this is three yes it's three okay it doesn't just jut out by one like that all right and this is curved around and then it's curved again and then it goes back okay now i got it <laughs> oh gosh you know flight in creative would make this a lot easier i guess that's one of the reasons why i'm so comfortable with building in creative is because you can mess up all day long and just fix it right quick without worrying about scaffolding and all that other stuff okay so we'll go one more right here, and then we'll put one up. Oh, that's the wrong way. Actually, that won't hurt, right? Uh, yes, that will hurt. And I had put those birch half slabs in the wrong spot. They needed to go here. I think that should still work out. Um, yeah, there's actually nothing I can do about making the top look good like that. Let me take the scaffolding down and see. I'm going to play with it a few more minutes, guys, and get it just like I like it. All right, you guys. After finagling with the design a little bit, I think I have what I really, really like. The only thing I couldn't figure out are these candelabras. I decided to do a double candelabra because it's not on center. If I take away one of these, it doesn't look right uh, on either side. So I just decided to do a double. I even tried to... Um, changing like inverting the stair and stuff and i didn't particularly care for it but at any rate this is the column design that i came up with i don't think that little jutty area that i did out here the one that jutted out like by three worked out because the column is not big enough like it's not tall enough if that other i think 
if it would have been a, a taller column, we could have done that type of design a little bit more ornate on the bottom, um, like the next level down. But all in all, this works out well. Uh, the birch was a little bit too much, so I decided to trim it up with a nether brick, and I think it came out gorgeous. And I put all the stairs underneath, and everything looks good. Like, I'm, I'm happy with the design. I don't know what to call it. I guess it's the, the rear balcony or <laughs> the back balcony. But uh, the next episodes, I guess I'm going to be doing a combination of mining and courtyard stuff. I need to add some light. And in the courtyard, let me ask you guys advice on this. In the courtyard area, I know I'm going to have the blacksmith on the other side and something else right here. But there's a lot of areas that are going to need extra light. And I don't know how I'm going to light it. I know I could light the walls relatively simple with a candelabra design or this design. And it's going to add light. But like right here, I'm not going to be getting any light. Um, and I don't really want to do bushes to put stuff in the way. I would rather not do carpet with um, with the, like, the jack-o'-lanterns underneath or glowstone underneath and I don't know I don't I just don't know I could do some floating lanterns maybe or I could do like pole lanterns uh, kind of like standing lights I'm not too sure how that would go over though so I might need a, I might do a combination of the things but maybe you guys have a good idea and we can talk about a central theme but I uh, really appreciate it next episode we'll probably be playing around on this area uh, with the blacksmith design I need to do a little bit of mining hopefully I can get some time to do that off camera and um, but that's gonna be it guys thank y'all so much for watching I hope y'all really enjoy the episode and as always this is Zuljin signing off and we'll see you next time Bye.